Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your October, your mid-October reading. Um, let's see. Yeah, when I'm shuffling off camera for you, you got, I was getting um. Okay, so some of you want to offer something to someone else from the past. You may have um, been in a relationship with them before. They're very weary and, you know, con conscious of maybe things haven't changed or you haven't changed. Um, Pisces, the, the advice there is if they feel like you haven't changed and you want to show them you have, then you need to do that in your actions. Uh, work on yourself. Um, and that could be vice versa. Some of you just single, ready to mingle, having fun, friends. Um, there's a scattered energy of feeling like it's just going to bottom out the energy and the excitement and the optimism. Or it does bottom out. Like when you get alone. Or when you are alone, you know, that's when that's when the truth speaks, you know, and, and the silence is the truth. So maybe some of you become depressed. Some of you are in marriages that you just argue, you fuss, you fight, but you're not going anywhere. But at the same time, you're wondering if the other person has someone and it's just a whole bunch of energy of what if, and, but nobody's making a move. Some of you are leaving mar marriages or long-standing relationships. Some of you are. Um, it's like somebody's holding on to you. You're still holding on. But then you're gone. But then you're still holding on. Energetically or actually physically. Or, you know, you're still in two different res residences. Some of you want it, some of you have people who want it, whatever it may be, to happen with you so badly, but um, you're kind of up in the air about it. Some of you are staying for the children or the assets between each other. Some of you are with someone, like a water sign, you don't know if you going to be with them forever you want to but you don't know but they're immature there's something I don't know you you're all all over the place with that but there's a strong connection but you just wonder some of you miss someone some of you are contemplating leaving a marriage for an, an outside person you love this person dearly. This is the person you would be with if you could be with them. You just don't know how to do it. You don't know how to leave. Some of you don't want to leave. Some of you want both situations. Let's see what the cards say. You're not doing anything financial. Finances feel decent. They feel good. They feel solid. They feel there's no fluctuation there. You know, of course, I'm not speaking for everyone. Um, busy work, 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 and you're not afraid of doing it. Some of you have idea of working for yourself. Put the plan in action. You can talk about how you feel about it all day, but what are you doing to actually make it happen? If you need more money, think of ways to make more money and get the ball rolling. All right. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to start with that. Let's go. We're going to start. We're going to do something different. Start with the butterfly oracle cards and then build from there. So we'll get, you know, where we are and why by way of the, of the tarot. So. I'm going to pull three cards for you, three cards for the, the other person you came to the reading for because most likely you came here 
for love. That's just it, you know. The statistics don't lie. So, if you're like, oh, I want to know about my career, get a personal reading. I mean, I can tell you all about it. Um, Oops, sorry. Knocking stuff, kicking stuff over. I like Pisces. I get along with Pisces. It's so sensitive, and I'm not. But at the same time, like, um, real fun, real cool. Um, yeah. Okay, bottom of the deck for the both of you are decisions. Do, 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 do. Every day you have to make a decision. Imagine pulling that card for yourself and, like, decisions. Well, I mean, I'm have to decide if I'm going to get out of the damn bed. So every day is a decision. Healthcare change. Family changes. Support. This may be for your partner. Let's see where you are. End of an era. Memories. Spiritual growth. Nice. So your partner may be dealing with some healthcare issues. Um, they may be trying to have get some healing within themselves. Let's see what this is about. Healthcare change. Healthcare change. Healthcare change. Okay, healthcare change for the partner. Let's see where we are. magician wow so they're really getting really serious about their health and well-being really trying to use all elements um, this is a person who may even be looking into alternative health whatever that may mean for you know people out there um, yeah they, they're really going deep healthcare change talks about also getting second and third opinions so of course you would be you know, exploring alter alternative uh, health practices. Um, nice. It looks like it very well may work for them. Family changes. It's about, you know, family changes. This is a card that can go across the board. Someone moving in or out of the home, exiting a home, a new baby, a home purchase, a home sale. Buying a dog, buying a cat. I mean, family changes are big. Uh, taking care of, you know, family members. Family changes. Family changes. What's going on for Ada there? Um, it may be causing a bit of stress or they're trying to figure out how can this work for them in regards to... Um, They don't see a way out. They need to reduce to the seven of air where, you, where they're planning, you know, and it may be planning in secret, but uh, they need to, they need a plan of action to move forward at the eight of air. It's just negative roundabout. It's no, okay, well, if I do this, then I move this way. It's just, well, I can't cause I, cause I, cause I can't. And if I can't, and if I do, and if I, it's a roundabout of negative thoughts. And maybe they don't see a way out of a family dynamic or how they can shift that energy or I don't know. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Didn't have to be. Uh, but someone can't move. They're stuck. They're stagnant. They feel stuck in a family dynamic for, of some sort. Doesn't have to be actually like husband, wife, family dynamic. Support. 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 Some, but like I said, some get depressed alone. Three of water. Yet yeah, find solace and comfort and friendship and be around people who make you happy. Um, yeah, friendship. Having a supportive team is good. 
it's be and this is for Pisces. This this is for Pisces, but this is your partner, the person you came in for. Pi, uh, Pisces, you could be that person for them. Be that beacon of support. Know that they may need some help there. All right, end of an era for Pisces. What is ending for Pisces? End of an era. End of an era for Pisces. Three of fire. Wow. So you put an end to something and now you're waiting for. Let's see. Wow, to have a second chance or so on. Yeah, you you did away with something and now you're waiting to revive something. Like I said, in the shells, it's like you want something of yesteryear. You want to revive something that very well, I don't know if it'll be. It can be revived. Memories. Memories. What is Pisces having memories of? It might be of this past situation, this past person. Six of Earth. Yeah, memories of a time where you felt balanced, you felt stable, you felt as if there was an equal give and take. Um, memory, yeah, memories of just really feeling as if um, the energy between you and someone else, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, could didn't have to be was was solid. Spiritual growth, spiritual growth. Queen of Earth, nice. You're becoming a lot, uh, you know, a very solid and grounded. Someone's teaching you this or someone's taught you this of how to how to compartmentalize emotions and decision making. It's almost as if you're marrying the spiritual, physical, emotional, mental realm into becoming um, a very solid decision maker. Uh, a decision maker. And it looks like some solid money here too. Some of you could be making money in the arts. You know, tarot card readers, psychic, spiritualist, astronomer. Or astrologer, I don't know. You're becoming solid in it. You you feel comfortable with it. Decisions at the bottom of the deck for the both of you. What is this? King of Air. Wow, you get real solid and firm. Some of you dealing with. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Typically, this is either Aquarius or Libra. I I never get this for a Gemini, but it very well could be. But this is typically Aquarius or Libra. Um, this is a great decision maker because they're mentally 10, 20 steps ahead. You might need to consult an attorney legal counsel, counselor, um, therapist, psychotherapist, I don't know, but it, it, you need help in being decisive. Cancer just got decisions too. Um, you need help. Decision is just what that is, a decision. So you need help in cutting something out or away. Okay, so we're going to clarify and see what the outcome is over at my website the extended read link is below it looks pretty good um pisces no real horrible cars none at all anyway um the link is below it's one dollar fifty cent i mean one dollar fifty and the fifty cent is pretty much for the merchant fee i had it at a dollar twenty five so you guys know you can see by way of the pricing that i'm really trying to offer those who say they cannot afford personal readings, this is an element of um, trying to go further without uh, stretching the budget for yourself. So $1.50 over at my website. Just click the link. It takes you right there. It's easy. It's simple. We move forward with our lives. Um, Pisces, know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. Um, I hope to see you over at the extended read. 
Uh, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye.